Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the king of Tiffin Motorhomes. This is the all new 2021 Tiffin Allegro Bus Model 45 OPP. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the king, the number one, the grand champion, the Allegro Bus 45 OP tag axle. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. What's going on? I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever got to review a Tiffin bus. Yes, made in beautiful Red Bay, Alabama. Roll Tide. No, War Eagle. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoy. Perfect. Let's begin. Model is Ford 45 OPP. And the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is maxed out at 45 feet long. This is built on a custom Power Glide chassis made in Red Bay, Alabama. It's made by Tiffin, the chassis is. Now it's still a Cummins ISL 9 engine, 450 horsepower with an Allison 4000 transmission, and it has a nice side radiator, tag axle with individual steering. That's a lot in one second. It oh. sure is. Cool, let's get started up front. Check out these nice LED lights. Full body paint, of course. You see this? I pulled the cap off this so you can see it. 360 degree viewing from wow. the inside. I'll show you that once we're inside. It does have a generator up front here. Let me slide it out. It's a Cummins Onan 10,000 QD generator. Now that's a generator. That's a generator. Oh yeah, slide out tray. You can, it makes it easy for serviceability, cleaning your windshield and everything. And as you can hear, we do have the generator on, but it's really not that loud. And it's nice because the generator's up front while you sleep in the rear. Coming around the side, of course you do have the collision mitigation system for Mobileye. Check out these huge bus style mirrors. I absolutely love them. And what Tiffin does is they do incorporate the camera in the mirrors, okay? So it's not another hole on your side. You have your cassette staircase, okay? That's Look beautiful. at this. Yes. Wow. That is so nice and fancy. I'm a huge fan of that. And then when it goes in. Gorgeous. Yes. If we step back some, this is the 10th generation paint job for the Allegro bus. It's the new paint job. It looks so good. I'm calling it Gen 10, Gen X, whatever you want to call it. That paint job looks so good. I can't wait till we get down there to see some of the fading. It's very exciting. Up front here, we do have a doggy window, okay? Um, right here, we do have keyless entry. Also, there is a doorbell right there. Oh, wow. Look at these tires, Andrea. Ooh, look at that car. I, I do like how Tiffin has their emblem there. Yes. Look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Michelin's. Look, 315. That's a big old tire. 315-80R22.5. And you do have Alcoa rims. Fuel fill up on both sides. A huge 150 gallon fuel capacity. That means you're not going to the, to the gas station as much or diesel station. So check out these slide outs. These are called Ooh, the seamless, like they're, they're called seamless slide outs, okay? Now, once the slide outs all the way out, we're gonna come back and finish out here. Check out these windows up here. Tiffin does not use the frameless windows, okay? But here's what they do have. They do have window awnings. And what we did, we optioned it with the power awnings, not the manual window awnings. You know, I feel like when you're spending half a million dollars, I want everything to be push of a button. Also, you do have the nice Gerard awnings up top. It makes it real nice, it comes out and up. But we'll talk a little bit more, more about that awning in a little bit. Check this out. Now these doors, they do have power locks from the inside, which is very nice. 
So you can keep them locked. Ooh. Check this out. That's nice. Truma. Little freezer. Now uh, outdoor kitchen a thing. Nice little cooler. Yep, I like how it's on a slide out tray. And look at this. Is this your... Oh, check this out, Andrea. Turn of events. This is nice. This is the remote for the awning. And let's do this and putting it out. All right. And then we do channel one. That one goes. Putting it out. Oh, man. Oh, wow. You just push a button and they both come out. Yes. I am a fan of that. That's awesome. But I will say I hate having to rely on a remote for the awnings. That's one of my big dislikes. But check that out. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We'll come back to that when they come out. Oh, uh, no. They'll be out in a second. Wind sensors, I see. Great. Check that out. Nice power awning with LED lights. It's the Gerard awnings. It's high end. Also, let, let's check out the underneath part. Also, there is a wind sensor, Andrea. So when the wind blows too hard, the awnings will automatically come back in. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty huh? awesome. All right, let's continue. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside. LG television with sound bar. I love that. Very nice. Uh oh, I don't yeah. think you can reach it, Matt. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, wow. I got it. All right. Look at these nice chrome handles. Gorgeous. The chrome underneath. Check this out. This has the easy glide slide out tray. Andrea, Ooh. you caught it. Look. Love Push that. Push up a button and it comes out on both sides. Fantastic. I, it's just a great feature. Holds a thousand pounds in that tray. And, you know, this motorhome. This is for a lot of people who buy this, they're gonna be full timing in it or spending extended period of time to spend this type of money. So you need two slide out power trays. Love it. I absolutely love that. And because it's a motor home and things break, you do have replacement tiles with every Allegro bus. Nice. Nice big pass-through storage, huh? Very wow. nice big power outlets on the outside. Yes, I see that there. And we got a central pack. Yep. Awesome. What Very is nice. this? So this is a compartment for the refrigerator. Okay. Yep. Makes it easy to access. That, Andrea, is part of the 360 camera. Cool. Okay. I'm impressed. Here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. More storage. Yes, very nice. There's your, are these, are, is that the your, uh, oh, the search card. Okay. Yeah, search card. Got a light. Guys, look at this paint. I love this the detail on this. This paint job is absolutely fantastic. Really cool. I don't want to touch it, but I am going to touch it. No, notice the different lines of the clear coat. I mean, you, you can't feel it, but you cannot feel the separation. Tiffin just does an amazing job on their paint job. Oh, look at those tires, yeah, guys. Big old tires, Andrea. And then check this out. You see how this tires in? And then you got an Audi. I call it, yep, I call it an Innie and an Audi. Uh, it's not the correct correct terminology, but when you make sharp turns, when you turn this way, this back wheel will turn that way. So with such a big motorhome, it makes it a lot easier to drive around. And then look Ooh. at these batteries and electronical components. Yep. Awesome. Oh, I love this. Look now, this. A, a lot of people might ask, what does XPS stand for? Uh, XSP. In X, <laughs> XSP. Yep. So in uh, 2019 part two, they actually raised the exterior storage five inches. So it stands for extra storage nice. space. And what a good, great job they did on that detail. Yep, yep, absolutely. Oh man. No bumper. No ladder. No, it's no not gonna ladder. have a bumper. It's yeah. gonna be a one piece fiberglass cap. That looks great. Yeah, Wait, show it, on. show it. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Yes, no ladder to get up on the roof. Just so everybody knows, it is a one piece fiberglass roof with three air conditioning units, solar's already on top. Everything you want is already on top. And quite frankly, I kind of like, listen, first time in Matt's Review Reviews history, I like that there's no ladder. When you're spending Allegro bus type of money, you're not getting up on the roof. Exactly. <laughs> 15,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow that. And you know what? Let's just show this engine compartment. Is this our first side radiator? Oh. So you see this? It's just real nice to get to. At your Cummins engine and everything. Nice. Yep. Look, and they have two cameras. 
Yeah, so one's your backup camera, one's for your 360 vision. That's fantastic. Coming around the side, here's your side mount radiator that everybody always likes to talk about. Here's where you fill up your DEF. There is a sensor on the inside. And here's just the side radiator. And then right here, here's where you uh, have your 50 amp power cord. Wow. Yep. Finishing up with the driver's side. Do you know what this is, Andrea? No. That is an emergency exit oh. behind the bed. I absolutely love that. So many times, it's like, it's like, it's a window like that. And it's just like, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna die falling out of the window. Where this, it comes down. I'll show you more in the bedroom. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very nice. Aqua Hot 450D. The nice, no propane on this coach. Heated floors and everything. Oh. Wet bay, beautiful. Look at that. Right, nice. Hey, you know what? Let me check. Hang on a second. Okay. Had to make sure 50 amp power cord reel on a reel with the retract right there. That's, That's nice. good. Because I was about to say, it, the, I like that. The fresh water hose is on a power reel, right? Right there. So I know knew the 50 amp power cord would be on a reel. The shower. Yep, had to check. Other side of the storage, everyone. Yep. Very nice, very nice. Man. And storage. This right here. Uh-oh. It's locked. Oh. Check out those batteries. There's the motor for your auto leveling. And oh. then look at this. The, oh, what's that, Andre? Napa know-how. <laughs> <laughs> Napa batteries, but look. Even this is on a slide-out tray. Even this is on a slide-out tray. It makes it easier to come in and out for serviceability. That's fantastic. Tiffin knows how to do it. And then, we didn't even comment. Look at these doors. Aluminum stain latch doors. Oh, I love that. It just closed on its own. Yep. No having to push it in. And then this is the other. The, yep. Your breaker box. Yep. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to go in, Matt. On trail. There's the, side of the other side of the fuel, guys. Yes, the outside of this motorhome looks fantastic. But I assure you, the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh. Ding, ding. Is anybody home? <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> All right, let's watch these pretty steps. All right, guys, hold on to your seats. Look at the detail on the steps. Gorgeous. All right. Cargo wow. carrying capacity. Oh my God, a record. Let's hear it. 10,140 pounds. That's insane. Now that's a diesel pusher. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna have Matt watch me walk down just so you guys can see. Of course with the posing slides, you know you're not gonna have a lot of room, but this is me coming down. Even I have to turn sideways. Yeah. It's not bad. But it's, it's, it's what it is. It's doable, it's what it is. I can get to the half bath just fine. Yep. All right. And it is bath and a half and then show that rear area. And then here we go with the bedroom. The bed is on a slide. You see back there. Gorgeous, Matthew. Wow. Look at the lights on the floor, everyone. Okay. So Matt is putting the slides out and as you can see, the buttons are on the seat. That's actually really, really cool. Yes, do you know why? So the buttons are on the seats right here. So to make sure that you're not going to be scratching the sofa. Yeah. And then, oh, you just missed it, but the slide just dropped down some. Okay, I'll watch this one. Yep. So like you see this right here, that could easily, you see that? Yeah. Look, that could have easily torn into the seat. Uh-huh. If I was back there controlling the slide out. So that's why I kind of like it on the seat. I do think it's tacky looking but it is practical. Wow, watch how that goes in the... Okay, Seems. that's awesome. Beautiful, Andrea. Look, Look at the this. floor. The ambiance. Guys, I love the ambiance in here. You're absolutely right. Just looking at the lights on the floor and on the ceiling here, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's, yes. it's bright in here. It's just, I don't know. It's very, very classy and elegant. It's an Allegro bus. It's the king. <sighs> now, Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, 
I have the hugest favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about this Allegro bus, but even more, let us know three things you don't like about this Allegro bus. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And Andrea, yes, we crossed 70, thousand subscribers oh my god i can't believe it it's you guys are awesome amazing and you know what we wouldn't be here without you so and, we are so thankful and grateful to all of you and we have some announcements coming out in the next few videos and it's opportunities that we got because of you guys yes. the rv review crew club art deco and everything we, we 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 absolutely love everybody and that's why we're, we're getting opportunities to travel more and bring you more beautiful motorhomes like this. <laughs> Let's begin up front. Now, before I show you the cockpit area, there is something that I really love that's just a touch of class. Oops, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Happy Travels by Bob and Judy Tiffin, autographed. Oh. I love that. I just think that's nice. Let's hop in the driver's oh, seat. Oh, wow, Matt. All right. So look at this, key ignition. You know, I personally like that, but at this price point, I think people rather have the push button, but we'll talk about that later. You got your cameras right here, menu, navigation. You have the Randy McNally navigation, iPod, Sirius XM radio, everything, your cameras, your left, right, rear while you're driving, okay? Let's see if we can find this 360 view camera menu yeah yeah except um menu <whistles> HD camera ah uh, look at that now it, we, we have a little bit of crummy weather the cameras need to be cleared but you see that you can see what's going on all beside you look look see oh, this, yeah, see this yeah. thing somebody's driving next Ready? to us Look, 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 you can see it right there on wow. the 360. I mean, that was so cool. It's like we planned that. Look. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got your left light blinker, right blinker. You have your pre-checklist items. You know, everything's just so cool. Push of a button, I feel like a commander. But I wouldn't be a commander without my co-captain. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, look, Matt. Yes, this? yes. I have a camera too? Yep. You have a camera as well to help guide me and direct me. Look, you have the same 360 camera and everything. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, look, and then there's this here, yep. which I can control things as well. All of the lights and everything. I don't know, Absolutely. Matt, do you really want me to be able to control things No, here? no, uh, I think. <laughs> but look, your seat, it does, oh, it's fully it's, powered. Hold on, I gotta say, this, remember, remember everybody wanted me to, uh, What's the comfort level? Oh, it's it definitely a 4C. <laughs> absolutely. C, guys. And you got, hey, this this is absolutely probably one of the best. Yep. The best. You have your um your power seats. It does recline, heated seats and everything. And yep. Mobile eye is up there. Again, we touched on that on the outside. Collision mitigation, late lane assist. But the only way to test this out if it's a real diesel pusher uh -huh. is to see if it has an air horn. <laughs> That's yeah. it, right there. Red Alabama, roll <laughs> tide. <laughs> War Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> cool, up front here we have a nice LG TV, okay? No bunk over the cab. <laughs> people who buy the Allegro bus do not want to sleep any more than two exactly. people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, you can entertain guests, but you do not want your guests sleeping with you. Sure. Here's your um, control switches for your power window awnings out there. Little bit of storage. You have your windows power blinds over here just a little bit more nooks and crannies and you can tell with the cabinetry it is very good cabinetry what's up here let me see okay just more oh yeah we yep. gotta look in there and touch guys, up paint touch up paint you look, know I, I really like how they have the led lights in the ceiling yep. just the the dick how they have designed it is gorgeous and i really like the window above the driver window here how there's yeah. another window right there yep it just gives you nice visibility when driving down the road because at the end of the day andrea this is a big motor home and so you want to be safe check out this living room area oh, it's just... i love it so look at the cabinetry it's a nice white cabinetry with the gray trim 
Okay, check that out. What's this? Secret compartment. Okay, that's gonna be an access compartment. Okay. Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. Wow. That's your owner's manual. There's a lot. <laughs> you need to be a rocket scientist. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at these doors. Watch. Soft no. closed oh, drawers. That's great. Very nice. Okay, so I just want to say, look at that. Look at that light. It's like a sconce. Uh -huh. Just the design of it. I love how modern it looks. And Matt, look at these split. Look at these shades. Yes. Now I do not believe they are manual. Nope. All the shades in here are electric as well. That is nice. Very I like nice. that. Yep. Then right here, the furniture. Check this out. Very nice, comfortable furniture. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Power seat, cup holder. Andrea, this is one of the this is one of the most comfortable sofas I ever sat in. Right, yeah. And then what's it looks real nice like is it. I have a button right here. So look guys, look, there is a televator. So you don't need to turn your head sideways to watch that front TV. You push the button and your TV goes up just like that. I absolutely love that. There is a sound bar up there. And that's beautiful. It's above the sofa. Now that sofa does not look like a sleeper sofa, but let's see. It, it is. is. It's a queen size sleeper sofa. Again, it's not going to be the most comfortable It's not one. a trifold, you guys. Not the trifold, it's but again, pull out so people who's buying this, they don't really want, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Look at that little nooks. I love little nooks and crannies. Me too. And you have one on the other side as well, next to the recliner. Yep. Right here, Andre, we have power and USB over here. Oh, it's is it hiding? No, it's not hiding. It's just right there. Oh. Very nice and different. And then right here, the dinette area. Oh, so look at this. Lit. So here's your shade buttons. You also have another TV lift, but the living room shade. Oh, oh, there you go. You push the button and it'll automatically go up so you don't need to hold it. That's gorgeous. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Daytime shades and privacy shades. Here's your dinette right here. Does not drop down to make a bed, but I will say this is a very comfortable dinette. You know, they make it just like a sofa. Let's see if there's storage. There's storage. Uh, bottom, yeah, there's a little handle thing down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Storage right here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. great. And you guys, look at this. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Andrea. <laughs> is that Art Deco? No. <laughs> oh, okay. You got cabinetry up here as well. Very nice. Yep, very nice cabinetry above. Well, Andrea. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 <laughs> MSRP on this motor home here is $530,823 MSRP. Wow. Sale price on this motor home here is... <laughs> Tiffin does not allow us to advertise sale price. So there is no sale price. Well, there is a sale price. You will not pay $530,000 for this motorhome. What you do, you have to contact our Tiffin specialist at General RV uh, by going down to the link below to General RV's website or going on the website, click get lowest price. I promise you, we will get you the best price on this Allegro bus or any Allegro bus, once you talk to our tip and specialist. And believe me, Andre and I, we know a lot, a little about a lot. Our tip and specialists know everything about this product. So if you're serious about buying it, make sure you go to generalrv.com. Andrea, let's continue the video. Oh my goodness. Where do I start? Right there, that's where you start. Oh, yeah, over here, it's gorgeous. Okay, so it looks like we got the Okay, so I'm gonna pull this. There's a little thing here. Let's see. Matt, maybe you need to pull uh -oh. it. You got a peninsula there. Pull out peninsula. The heck's going on? Oh, you know what? How crazy would this be, Andrea? The engine. No, that can't be possible. Hang on. That's not possible. Oh! Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So it was. So it was the engine. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, you so, guys. So, so it doesn't slide out when, when the engine's on right. while you're driving. You know what else does that, not to interrupt? This right here, this is a button, okay? So once you're driving, pull this out, please. Sorry. Oh. When the engine's on, this won't come out either, but it will if you push that button. Wow. How cool is that? That is awesome. And I love the pantry here. Yes, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Okay. Keep on going. So I'm going to start here with the peninsula. I love the extra counter space. Uh, here you got place for utensils. Wait, 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 wait. Is that in the... Cutting board. Oh, a cutting board. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. See? That, but here. that's so smart to put it there. Oh, yeah. Utilize all your space. Yes. Again, for your cutlery and stuff like that. Um, got another drawer here. I mean, what a great job on the cabinetry. You know, every job on everything. I, I mean, I'm not a fan of, you know, high gloss and the black handles, but it does look good. So something else, what I'm noticing, these are gray down here mm -hmm. and, it's and they're white, white up here. there. Yep. yep. Yeah. They did a good job. I mean, it looks good with the two tone. Oh, oh, wow. Wait, come over here. Wow. That's so cool. I guess you could put like, you know, bread in there or whatever you want. I love that there. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay, guys, lots of electrical outlets. One there, one here. I like the lights under here. Yep. Um, just gorgeous. Here we have the two burner induction. Thank you, Matt, for opening that up that for me. That is so cool. I love the panoramic window. I like this, this whatever they call it, back backsplash. Black si uh, backsplash. Backsplash. Yep. Splash. It's beautiful. Two burner induction cooktop, you guys. Very nice. Let's see what we got here. A dishwasher. <laughs> and it's hiding. Yes. I didn't know it was there. Yep. Got a drawer here. And I'm a big fan of the LED lights under okay. the cabinetry. Yep. I like all that extra omniance. Um, above here, we have more cabinetry. Look at this. Oh. Adjustable shelves. We didn't show the microwave. Oh, I forgot that, didn't I? Microwave convection oven. Whirlpool. Whirlpool. Only the <laughs> finest. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. This One at a really time. really a big, big sink. Check that out. Residential style. And I like that. So many times the sinks, yes. you can't even wash your dish in. Right. And because this is perfect for full timing in. And this, I don't know if this is the... That's, that's a soap. soap pump. Okay. I didn't know if it was like... Sometimes they have water. That's so cool. That's that soap. is very cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Gorgeous, so gorgeous. Fancy. So many electrical outlets in here. Yeah. Well, it's important to I'm have really a lot. I'm really liking that. And I do, I like these adjustable shelves. I like that there's a drawer. Um, here you go with, you have your lights and everything here. We got more drawers over here. I gotta say, I love the countertop. I gotta mm. go over those. Very nice. And you can tell it's great quality. Sponges. Wow. Uh-oh. Burr, burr, burr. Look at this! Oh now wow! That is Andrea! Awesome! Wow, that is so cool! <laughs> and look, it's an eighty-three-dollar trash can! Yay! <laughs> That's so I cool! Like what that they did a there! Lot. Yes. So many slide-out trays. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. Just gorgeous. Now I don't know if this is for show, Matt. We're gonna. Yeah, it's to... just for show. Okay. All right, over here. Let's we'll show the pantry again. Yes. Gosh. Slide-out. That pantry. is incredible. Well, you want to know what's even more incredible than that? What? Look on the other side of the fridge. Okay. Following me. Another oh. one. Another one. Wow. Okay, guys, check out this refrigerator. Okay. This is kind of interesting. Yes, it is. How it looks like the cabinetry. The cabinetry, yeah. Don't know how I feel about it. But yeah, I do like this big refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Got a Whirlpool residential. Mm-hmm. Ice maker, water purifier, yes, oh, look at the freezer. Very nice. And attention to detail here. Check out this wallpaper. It's I like, I love the modern look in here. Yeah, very it's, modern. It's beautiful. Even all the details with the light fixtures and everything, just gorgeous. Yep. All right, let's check out this first half bath. No heat ducts in the floor. Okay. Nice porcelain oh, toilet. Look at all the cabinetry. Very cabinetry. nice. Yes. I just like how much cabinetry is in Max here. Air fan. Yes, ma'am. We have the um, 
buttons right there. Paint I like them. how they did the side and backsplash still in the bathroom here. Yes. Did I show down here? Nope. Got a little bit right there. And then this, Shut just up. a little bit more. Okay. All right. Porcelain, toilet paper, home, toilet paper holder was almost in the way. But the way they angled this, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! I will say this, this almost got in the way, but it doesn't, because I can do this, but it really almost did. Great bathroom. Very nice. All right, okay. pocket door on the bedroom there, as you can see. Of course. Let's check out this live, uh, bedroom. Look, you got a Blu-ray player. Look, it's the Wally from Dish Network. <laughs> hoppa, hoppa. Yeah, the ho oh yeah, it's the Hoppa from Dish Network. <laughs> you forgot the drawers. Yes, you got your drawers right uh, here. one, that's good. Yep. Andre, look at this, a <gasps> fireplace in the bedroom. That's beautiful. I love that, so many people want fireplaces, but when you have the opposing sofas, you can't get it. So at least they added it in the bedroom. And I like how they have the te the, the elevator here, so yep. you still have that window. Very Look at nice. the shelves, great. Adjustable shelves. More drawers. I love the lights underneath. Yep. Gorgeous. Yep. And look, there's a ceiling fan. That's my favorite. Very nice. You do have cabinetry above the bed. Now, Andrea, let me show you something. Right here has the fold up bed, right? Now, we've seen this before. Am I right? Yes. We've seen this on a lot of our diesel pushers or whatever. One of the things is it's it can get a little bit difficult to make the bed, right? Because the bed, you know. Yeah. You know. So watch this. Oh, the bed comes out? The bed comes out even farther. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Are you guys... So look, now look at this. this out. Look at this. It's very easy to make the bed. And in case of an emergency, you oh. rip these off. Oh, and then boom, look at that. That is, oh my gosh, genius. Right now, don't get me wrong. Popping out a window is going to be faster, but this is going to be safer. Absolutely. You pop this out, and it has steps. You pull that lever and then it goes down and then you just crawl out. Wow. It's just very important. That is so cool. Isn't that neat? They thought of everything. Uh, I feel like they did, yes. <laughs> you know, I love that headboard too, by the way. But can I be honest with you? Half a million dollars, you better have oh, yeah, yeah, everything. Definitely. Thank you so much, Mr. <laughs> <Tim>. <laughs> and then this goes like that. I really do like the headboard. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Why don't you show that bathroom? Yep, there we got cabinetry up oh. there, guys. Just open a couple. Sorry. That's great. Thank you. Got electrical outlets. I love how there's windows on both sides of the bed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you got a little bit of a nightstand. On each side of the bed, you have your panel there to control. Yep, you could have done that bed lift or the TV lift or the lights from either got side of the bed. one cabinet there on the other side as well. USB oh, pocket door to the bedroom, gosh. I mean to the bathroom. Oh. oh, wow. His and hers are double this sink. This is beautiful, though. I love the way that looks. Look at the detail. It's like that metallic yeah. silver gray, gunmetal gray. I really like the modern, how it's very modern. Yeah, very nice. You got your medicine cabinets right here, his and hers. Hers and hers, or his and his, however you roll. Love that. Look at, and even I like the wallpaper in here. But yeah. just the detail in here is great. Look at, look at the molding and the frame around here. Oh, double deco, Matt, Andrea. The camera's doing something different. Like it just. Hold on. You ready? Technical difficulties here. Double deco. And then I like that. You got this right here. I mean, even look at this fan. How yeah. out, you know. Rather than it just being a fan, that looks nice. You have a like window. window. So this toilet has a macerator. The other one's gravity fed because it's right over the black tank. And then. Wow. Oh, it might be. This might be in the way. I'm still giving it the four piece, <laughs> but it might be in the way. And Andrea, look at the shower. Yeah, I, 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 can I go in the shower? Yes. I, I really just want to go in it. I know it's silly. You got to turn that. Oh gosh, duh. Oh, look how pretty it is, you guys. Very nice. I, oh, look. 
So you got an LED light here and you can open this up for sunlight. Or if you're taller. Yeah, oh wow, good point. Look at the detail, gorgeous. Wow. I love that there's a seat. Wow. I love that there's a handle in yes, here. Yes, the space in the shower it's a great, is phenomenal. great size, guys. It's, is it a tile? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Or not a tile, just it's, stone. Yeah, it's stone and then this is tile. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow, that's one of the best showers I've ever seen in yes, a motorhome. Yes, absolutely. And you know, you can definitely tell this is luxury and high end. Oh, shoe rack, what's Andrea? in here? The closet? My shoe. Your shoe. Your shoe. Your <laughs> shoe. Your shoe. Your no, shoe. No, Matt, your look. Shoe. There's more room up there for my shoes. Oh, okay. In case you have more than seven pairs of shoes <laughs> while you're camping. Look at this. Wow. Even the fuse oh. box is covered up. Adjustable shelving. Andre, this is a long video because there's a lot of stuff to go yes, over. Yes, there is. I like that there. Very nice. It's a nice walk-in closet. We got drawers down here. See that? Beautiful. Yep. On yep. the other side. Oh, you got a safe. You got a safe. Built-in safe right there. Very, Very nice. nice. The passcode's one, two, three, four. <sighs> I love the LED lights on here. Yes. Oh, and then it finishes up with a of course. Stackable washer dryer. And I do like how it is back here in the walk-in closet. So you do have your big bathroom, master bathroom from the living room. Um, so it's gonna give you that quietness. And then look at that. Look how even nice this looks. It's one, remember how I touched on the XPS? Yes. It's all one flush floor now. It doesn't have the step up. Yeah. And there's your engine access compartment right there. Fantastic. I gotta say it's gorgeous. And Andrea, as gorgeous as it is, and as nice as it is, you know the rules. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? We've got to do three things we dislike about it. Well, that's going to be tough once you're at this level, but I think I can do it. First, I'm going to go first. Okay. First dislike for me. Hey, the that was my dislike. I'm so sorry, Andrea. <laughs> I'm sorry to steal your dislike, but here's the deal, right? Refrigerators break a lot in RVs and they can be very costly. I feel like it's going to be hard to get a replacement for this fridge if and when it breaks. Not only that, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the stainless steel fridge looks. I think stainless steel actually looks pretty good, you know? So that's one dislike. Okay, I'm gonna, can I go? Do you have one? I do. Oh of man. Of course I do. Two? Okay, so I know for the sake of having four slides, you have to do this. I don't like this. Um, I concur. I wish that there was something else we could, they could do about this. Yep, yep. It, that's, they that's, have, yeah, they have to do it because it's a seamless slide. Right. But, but I know the carpet right there. Right. It just doesn't, in, yeah, Maybe I mean, it needs to be a tougher kind of carpet or a, a more of a harder tile on there or something. I don't know, vinyl, but I don't I, know. But see, I've seen some manufacturers doing it with the tile, but then the tile seems to break at yes. times. And so it's kind of like maybe it doesn't look fantastic, but it's practical. I'm not sure, but yes, I agree. Okay. So that's two. And you have well, a third? I have, I have a third dislike. So, oh man, we're going back to you. Uh, I'm not really, you know, I, I think this motorhome is beautiful, it looks fantastic. But me personally, I'm not a huge fan of high gloss. Some people are, and that's fine. That's the luxury look. Um, and I'm not a fan of the knobs. And these are just small little things that I don't like. Well, but I want to hear what you guys don't like about this. And, and I, I, Cause I can hardly find anything. Right, and what I so. would say is, um, it's not called fashion, but interior decor look. I almost agree with, with the flooring. I think it would have been better with the high gloss if it had the nice porcelain tile floors yes but since the floors are kind of dull and matted right it would have been better if the cabinetry was dull and matted. yes just saying <laughs> well, well we got to listen to what rv review crew has yeah hey maybe we're wrong and at the end of the day we're not spending a half million dollars exactly on. great so that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome andre do you want to go first sure okay oh my gosh okay so where do i start what I, what I really love about this, I love this kitchen setup. I love that it has this peninsula here. Yep. I love the countertop, it's gorgeous. Yep. The fact that it has a dishwasher makes and, me really excited. And I'm fine with the dishwasher being blended yes. in. And here's what I will say, okay? I, I'm gonna add to that, I love the big residential size sink. And I love how the pullout peninsula and this will not come out while the engine's on. 
That is huge. Okay? Yep. So that's one. Two. Ooh. You ready for this? You all know we have never been a fan of the tilt-up beds. This one I am a fan of. I like how it comes all the way down for the easeability, uh, e mm -hmm. for the accessibility yes. to make it, to make it easy to make the bed. And I absolutely love that emergency exit. It's huge, it's a big deal, and I'm a huge fan of that. I agree, 100%. So that's two, and the number three is outside. Didn't even show this. Look at the paint on the seamless Oh lines, yeah. Okay? Very nice, elegant, really nice. Well, Gorgeous. The first thing I love about this is how it's built on the Power Glide chassis by Tiffin, okay? Um, you have the nice raised rail, push button, locks, everything. I, I just love this motorhome, how everything's integrated together. The lights, everything, the 360 degree viewing, the 450 tag axle, and really not at an incredibly expensive price for what you're getting. You know, a lot of times when you get a Tiffin, for an example, when you compare the gas motorhomes, the feature in the gas motorhomes compared to other brands, I feel like you are paying a little bit of a premium for the Tiffin, just saying, um, because it's Tiffin. But diesel pushers at the half million dollar mark, I feel like it's a great value as well. Matt. Yes. We also forgot to do our specs. <laughs> well, oh, we'll have all the specs about this motorhome right here. <laughs> Bing. And down in the description below. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Everybody, if you have any questions about this motorhome, you can always call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or you can check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. But more importantly, this is a need. If you're interested in buying this, you need to talk to a Tiffin specialist. So go to General RV's website. I have a link down in the description below if you're watching on the computer. Or just go to www.generalrv.com. Click get lowest price. Click get info. And one of our Tiffin specialists who they probably know more about this motorhome than Bob Tiffin. They will be able to answer this for you. And I promise you, if you're serious about buying this, they will be able to get you an absolutely fantastic price. Just make sure you say, you say you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Tiffin's going to be reading the comments. Uh -huh. So we are interested to see what everybody has to say. Also, um, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out our, our mug, bing, make sure you check that out on our merch. Hope you guys are doing- Hashtag mug life. Hashtag mug life, exactly. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. Awesome. And just to wrap it up, cause we didn't talk about Yuna, Yuna is our dog and she's not sleeping in the crate anymore. And here's Yuna and Andrea sleeping. Bing! And Andrea doesn't even know about this picture. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.